is Max from the Next Creation. Welcome to this channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about quite a number of things. I was so concerned and I thought I would just share out with uh, part of the viewers to get out, to get such kind of information to know. We are going to talk about working visas in Qatar. We are going to talk about Qatar ID expiry. Then we are going to talk about vacations after July. We are also going to talk about a little bit of what we call the FIFA World Cup. Because we are looking at the all three sets of topics or things we are going to talk about. They are rotating about what we call the big event that will be taking place in this Gulf country or in this small Gulf country, Qatar. That is the FIFA World Cup, Qatar. Let us go straight into the video and talk about working visas. For anyone that wish to come to Qatar right now, what I want to let you know, the latest information is there are a lot of recruitments going out there, especially with the manpower companies. Being the situation that the, the visa visas are on a halt, a little bit harder for now, but there are a lot of recruitment offices, recruitment agencies that have been given the task to recruit people for security departments, for cleaning department, hospitality departments, cleaning departments, technicians in all sorts of categories out there. Why is this so? Because of the FIFA World Cup Qatar. There are very many projects around that need this kind of personnel or need this kind of workforce. So if in your country you happen to hear of any recruitment agency and you wish to come to Qatar, it's time right now. Go to that recruitment agency. Try to inquire what they have. What kind of opportunities will they have? Are they relating to Qatar? Yes. Then go down, sit down. Talk about what kind of job are they talking about in that recruitment agency. If it is they're talking about the cleaning, security or technician or hospitality of any sort. Try to ask which kind of company. Come down, research for that company. Then you know if that company has those kind of jobs, then you can apply immediately. That means they have those opportunities such that you do not have to miss out at the end of it all. Remember, when we are talking about these recruitment agencies and these opportunities right now, the working visas starting around June, May, the working visas will be reduced a little bit. There will not be more issuing of working visas, meaning that you will not see sponsors coming to those recruitment agencies, you will not see those recruitment agencies recruiting again. So it is time to start now. So for anyone that is planning to come to this Gulf country and I take the opportunity right now, it is the highest time to start. Because by the end of June, by the end of May, June, they are not going to be recruiting. They are not going to be work, giving out more working visas. They will only be facilitating for those people that are already issued with the visas to come into the country. But because you remember, by November, November, uh, November, we have the fifth the preparations for World Cup starting. Actually, the preparations are starting in what we call October and early all those days. So you probably know what is going to happen. That time will be just detected. For that time will only be for people welcoming people who are planning to come to the country for the event. So for that time, for people who are seeking to be sponsored of what you call the working visas, I think that will be a perfect or right time match for you to have your perfect job, or for you to have that dream job that you think you want to do. Oh, for you to have that opportunity for you to come into this country. I think it's a very good time for us to share right now. I've shared it rightly. I feel so concerned. Then still, when we talk about Qatar ID expiring, Yes, most of us may, may, may just under, underestimate the Qatar ID expiry. Remember, for you having a Qatar ID in this goal, in this country, what we call this small Gulf country, Qatar, or the Middle East country as you call it, or you having what you call resistance, a resident permit in any of the Gulf countries, it is one that takes you all. Because it's all what you need to access whatever you need to access or any service that you need to access. You need to have that ID. And it's not a matter of only having the ID. It has to be a valid ID. 
That is what I have to let you know. It has to be a valid ID. So make sure you always, it is part of your role, it is part of your responsibility to check the risk, to check what you call the cut ID expiry date. If it is one month prior to the expiration, try to inform the person responsible that my ID is expiring. I need my ID to be renewed. Because it doesn't take time. For the ID to be renewed, it does not take the time. Normally what companies do, they give you what you call a consent letter. That consent letter, it is you to agree that you've accepted to renew your cutter ID in case it is expired. And the main reason why they give you that consent letter is to accept, such that in the time of you resigning, and that expiry date of the ID is not yet up to date, you will have to pay up for the remaining months of the ID. That is why they give you that consent letter, for you to sign to acknowledge and request your ID to be renewed. Otherwise, you can roll in the move the way you want it to move in any way or the other. So make sure that your ID is valid to avoid any sort of what is happening. Right now, there are over announcements of over one hundred of over me one million uh, deportations that will be taking place or uh, around millions of people that will be taken because of either overstays, expired IDs that are not renewed for quite a long period of time. Over the six months that are being given, over three months and six months of validity of, of the ID. So what it is quite very important for you to take the responsibility yourself. Much as your sponsor, the person who gave you the visa, takes it all. But even you, yourself, has to be the responsibility. When we talk about the vacations, guys, for anyone that is planning to have the vacation after July, you must be very careful. It is either you are resigning out of the company to go out completely, but if you're thinking to returning back to the company or return, uh, thinking of coming back to Qatar, you must be very wise enough or you must have calculated wisely enough. Why am I saying this? For example, right now, what is, what is the latest information? For people who are coming from Asia, if you're coming from Philippines, if you're coming from Nepal, if you're coming from Bangladesh, if you're coming from Pakistan, uh, you know, you're coming from India. After you getting vacation after July, that means you'll not, need, you'll not be able to come back to Qatar. You'll not be able to come back to Qatar. Why? Remember after July, by the time you come back, your ID will already be six months in case your ID is six months expired. So if it is after six months, it has expired, then what do you need? You need to have a new visa for you to come in the country, to come back in the country, which is going to be very tricky. Likewise, if you talk about people coming from Africa, wherever you may be coming from, an African country, it's better you first calculate wisely for that date when you're going. If it is after July, you should know after July, is my ID valid? Can I come back? Yes. Make sure as you get your vacation or as you plan to go for your vacation, your ID is valid. It has more, more, more than the six months, such that in case of anything that happens between that, you probably, you are in the right way that you can return to the country without even a hassle. I think that is very important and it's very important. So if you're planning a vacation, you may be coming from Asia country, you may be coming from Africa, wherever, please try to calculate that time rightly and know that you fit in the time that you're not going to be inconvenienced in any way where you will need to have a new visa to come back in the country. And remember, in some companies, after July, they will not be giving out vacations. They will not be giving out vacations. Some companies even announce and say, starting June, if you're going to be a June, if you're planning a vacation after June, there is no giving vacations. There is no vacation for you until when the World Cup is, is, is done and when the World Cup is completed or, uh, until the last match. You don't think you're just going to move out just frankly after the last match, that the last match is on the 18th. I should be taking my vacation on, uh, on, 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 on 20th. No, it's quite impossible. You know what it is like. You know what it's happening. So you must be very, very, very wise as you are trying to calculate that. 
Uh, in number four, we are going to talk about the FIFA World Cup. Yes, the FIFA World Cup is coming. The big opportunity, the waiting opportunity. The time to celebrate, to celebrate together as residents and citizens of this country. We give their support. Yes, but you know what will happen after the FIFA World Cup. So why for people planning to come to this country, if you're planning to share, to be part of the group, or to have that opportunity as fast as fast uh, possible, why not think right now? Go to that recruitment agency. Try to, to look for the available opportunity. Don't look at what is happening. If you think you want to do something like insecurity and the visas are not there, and it's cleaning, take it up very fast and you come. From there, after you completing, you can change. After completing that contract that you signed, which is maybe maybe one year or two years after you complete, then you can effectively change. But first, embrace that opportunity. Then you can take it off. Then, what is World Cup? I know there are very many people are going to come. Very many visitors over uh, because the country is almost expecting over one million spectators. One million visitors coming into the country, so it will be a little bit massive. Right? Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Uh, remember, smith from the next